So you might not be the smartest guy or gal in the room. So what? What good is that hunk of meat between your ears if you're too lazy to get after it? I'm talking about hustle. It's a trendy word, I know, but there isn't a better way for me to say what it is so many are lacking. Let me tell you why your ability to hustle will be your most successful weapon. This is the last episode in a four-part series about becoming what I call a unique breed. This unique breed is the individual who gets it. They are tenacious, yet teachable. Hungry, yet patient. They go for the win, yet they're not afraid to lose. The one trait that sits at the very heart of all of this is one's ability to hustle. Yep, you just made me say it again. It's a buzzword. Everybody has a side hustle. Side hustle this, rise and grind that. Time to hustle, let me rephrase it with a quote that's driven me for years. You make your own luck. This mantra is part of me. It's not faked, it's not forced, it's just me. It's genuinely me. It's a blessing and a curse and it's my reality. I'm very cognizant of the fact that 99% of the time, I'm not gonna be the smartest person in the room and I'm okay with that. But what I'm 100% convinced of is that I will try to outpace the best of them and typically I'll succeed. You see, my desire to hustle is completely within my control. Millennials are often tagged with a label of being entitled or even lazy. I strive every day to put that label to rest and ensure it doesn't apply to me. At some point in time, you've got to stop pretending like one day you're going to get a new project added to your portfolio, or one day you're going to make it to a local meetup and start to network with other people. Today is the day you've got to get after it. You've got to get after it. Especially if you're the one sitting at home twiddling your thumbs because you've gotten passed over again in another job interview. Those other candidates, I guarantee, are not making excuses of one day. You've got to get after it. Now, once you get started, I imagine at some point in time, you're going to feel discouraged. Something that will creep into your mind telling you, you know, it's time for a break. Your ability to dismiss that voice and stay after it is what's gonna help set you apart as this unique breed. You don't need a break. You're stronger, tougher, and more hungry to get after it. Follow through. Another poster I've got hanging in my office says this, finish what you've started. Don't leave a project hanging at 80% complete. To the perfectionist, move over. You've got no place here. In this process, you will fail time and time again. Stay humble, stay teachable. The hustle isn't for the perfectionist. Perfection can be the voice that tells you, ah, you're not ready, or we'll get around to it when we've got more time. More time isn't coming. At the end of the day, you really do control your own path. You can choose if the world's gonna rip you apart and turn you inside out, or if you're gonna find a way to persevere and push through. If you followed along in this series about becoming a unique breed, the evidence is clear, you get it. You're looking for ways to improve. Whatever's popped into your mind throughout these rants, find a way to apply it. You know yourself better than I do. Uh, You know what's keeping you from succeeding better than I do. In that honest reflection, you know where you can improve. So get after it. Learn to say yes. Learn to love losing. Be patient and hustle harder than the rest of them. And you'll become that unique breed.